Hi guys, Pete here from Outside Creations. Today we're in Epping Forest reviewing the Epson Mavirio BT300s for Wex Photo Video. If you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe down below. The Mavirio BT300s are really aimed at augmented reality and also drone piloting. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at the drone aspect and I'm going to be pairing it with my DJI Mavic Air. The principle of these glasses are that you can keep line of sight with your drone whilst also seeing your screen. So this means you can do more complicated maneuvers while constantly keeping an eye on your drone, making sure you're not crashing it into anything. Setting up the glasses for the first time did feel a bit tricky, but it's one of those things once you do it once and figure out the interface, it's actually pretty easy to operate. In this video, you'll see I'm using some sunglasses straps on the back. Um, these don't come with the kits and I found that I did actually need them to stop the glasses sliding off my head. Um, we tried it with some other people though and it fit them fine. I think it's just my little tic tac head. Now the kit comes with the glasses obviously. It also comes with the glasses controller. Um, there are a few darker lenses as well if you're shooting in high brightness scenarios. There are various cables to attach it to devices and also this clamp that means you can attach the glasses controller onto your drone's controller. So to get it connected, all you need to do is use the micro USB on the side of the controller, plug it into the full size USB on the bottom of your drone remote, turn on your drone and now we can get into the glasses. Now the remote for the glasses is actually really cool. It's done on a touch screen trackpad system. So I can drag my finger along this trackpad and you can see this reacting in the glasses, which I screen recorded and put on this frame. It does look a bit laggy in the screen recording, but that wasn't an issue and there was none of that while actually operating it. The DJI Go app is already installed. So I'll just click on that and it will open just like it does on your phone or tablet. So now I'm into the app, I can just operate it like I would normally with my phone using the trackpad. Um, so I can change things like the ISO just with one finger. Um, I can also change the shutter with two fingers and dragging it. I'm making this look much harder than it actually is. Um, I was looking through the camera I'm recording this video with and then the glasses and then watching my fingers. But when you're using it normally, it's really easy and really intuitive. So I was really impressed when I actually got it up in the air. You can actually see why these glasses are on the market. Um, you could really keep a good line of sight with the drone, while also in really good detail see the screen. Um, one thing I'd say is if it was a bit brighter, you're definitely going to want one of the shaded visors. But for a typical gloomy English day, we didn't really need it. So the battery life on the glasses is really good actually. It's about six hours, so way better than your drone batteries. Lastly, I was really impressed by how portable it all is. So you could fit the glasses, the controller and the controller mount all in this little bag that they provide. So overall, we were super impressed by these glasses. The only cons being it maybe could have fit my head a bit better. And also maybe the start at time was a bit long if you're in a rush. Um, but we really like the fact that you don't need to come out with two people when you're drone flying. You don't need that spotter. You can just do it all yourself. So we hope you found this video interesting. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down below and we'll do our best to get back to you. And until next time, see you later, guys.